good day to all of you today we shall discuss on the topic bus arbitration the topic number 4.4.1 it is given in as so in textbook computer organization fifth edition by author carl amateur the content of whole discussion is taken from this textbook our sincere acknowledgement and thanks to author carl amateur so here in the figure processor memory which are connected to io devices input device and output devices n number of io devices through system bus system bus is the connecting lines between various parts of the computer system so system bus that is it will be having address bus data bus and control bus all together it is called as system bus and over this system bus the data transfer do takes place between processor memory and other parts that is io devices and any other part connected to system bus okay and processor only initiates all data transfers hence it is called as the bus master it will have complete control over the system bus next we shall consider the same extended to other external devices which are connected to same system bus so in the figure here when compared to previous figure processor main memory input device keyboard and output device printer are there apart from this we have here high speed network which is connected through network interface to dma controller that is here we can make this as one next we have a hard disk that is secondary storage device connected to dma controller 2 through this dma controller the external devices high speed network and hard disk they are connected to system bus over system bus they are connected to main memory hence the data transfer between main memory and external devices that is high speed network and hard disk takes place over the system bus through corresponding dma controller means the data will be coming at high speed on the network through interface network interface it is collected in buffer memory of dma controller 1 here so dma controller 1 then transfers this data to the main memory at the speed of main memory over the system bus for that it needs the control over system bus so it takes the permission of processor means it will request and takes the permission of processor and then it does this data transfer so data transfer to and from between main memory and external device through dma controller takes place so this dma means direct memory access the data transfer between main memory and external device through dma controller how it takes directly without intervention of processor i have covered in my previous video dma complete the name of the video being dma complete so please you can refer to that video the point uh, to note here is when uh, data transfer has to take place between main memory and external device the bus mastership has to be transferred from processor to dma controller here then only dma controller can do the data transfer between corresponding external device and main memory so bus arbitration is the process of choosing who will be the next bus master because in the figure here dma controller 1 is there 2 is there like that n external devices will be connected to the same system bus of the computer through their respective dma controllers so that dma controller when request so many dma controller will be requesting for the data transfer but who is chosen as the next bus master for that what process is followed that process is called as bus arbitration hence bus arbitration is the process by which the next device to become the bus master is selected 
and and bus mastership is transferred to that okay so there are two approaches for bus arbitration means in choosing next bus master there are two approaches the first one is centralized second one is distributed bus arbitration in centralized bus arbitration single device participates in choosing next bus master in distributed bus arbitration all the devices participate in selection of next bus master so first uh, we shall discuss on the topic centralized bus arbitration next we shall go over to distributed bus arbitration so this figure shows the arrangement needed for centralized bus arbitration that is how a single device participates in choosing the next bus master and uh, how bus mastership is transferred to that so in the figure we can see processor dma controller 1 dma controller 2 and some control lines being connected between these devices and processor so dma controller 1 may request the processor for mastership over the system bus or dma controller 2 or n number of dma controllers here only two are shown okay whenever multiple devices are requesting or single device is requesting how they will request by sending the signal on br line that is uh, this bus request bar line so if dma controller 1 wants the mastership then it raises this line to low that is logic 0 because br bar indicates it is active low or dma controller 2 may request by sending a signal on this right so this uh, bus request uh, br bar line will be active that will be the logical or of all the bus request from all devices connected to it okay then when bus request line is activated then processor activates uh, bus grant signal that is when it is ready to give the mastership it sends a bus grant signal so this bg1 this is the line on this processor grant signal will pass and it will reach dma controller 1 first then dma controller 1 if it needs the control over system bus because if it has some data to be transferred then it blocks bg1 signal bus grant signal 1 it blocks then gains the mastership over the system bus and makes bus bg line active that is indicating that other devices they cannot try to request because the control over system bus has been taken okay that is the signal bg1 is uh, which is connect it is connected to all dma controllers but it is connected in daisy chain arrangement as told it reaches first dma controller 1 next if it allows it goes to next dma controller 2 then again if allowed by dma controller 2 it will go to next this kind of arrangement is called as daisy chain arrangement if dma controller 1 is requesting it blocks the propagation of this grant signal to other device it will not allow to reach to dma 2 so otherwise it will pass to dma controller 2 and that is called here as bus grant signal 2 so whoever is becoming the bus master here say dma controller 1 or dma controller 2 which will be blocking bus grant signal it will make bus busy line active indicating that it has gained the bus mastership or control over the system bus other devices cannot request and utilize the system bus at the same time so when the dma controller activates bus busy line it prevents other devices from using the bus at the same time so in this centralized bus arbitration the control signals involved are 
bus request line that is br bar bar indicates it is active low means uh, that line is made active means whenever any device request for the bus mastership they make this active means they send a logic low signal on that line logic zero signal on that line bus grand signals they are called as bg1 bg2 bus busy line bbs5 bar this also line is made active when low signal is sent when this is made active when any dma controller gains the mastership over the bus so the figures both together we can see here figure 4.20 and figure 4.21 figure 4.20 already we discussed that is the arrangement for centralized bus arbitration and uh, how through signals on uh, bus request line bus grant line and bus busy line the communication between the processor and uh, dma controllers take place and uh, we can explain here how bus mastership is uh, transferred from processor to dma controller and then from dma controller to processor okay so this uh, this signal shows bus request signal and this is bus grant 1 this is bus grant 2 this bus busy line then this uh, is uh, indicating who is the bus master so for example we shall take dma controller to request and acquire bus mastership and later releases the bus so concentrating on timing diagram here that is figure 4.21 what all sequence of events for the devices in figure 4.2 just now we explain the arrangement done for centralized bus arbitration so this shows this timing diagram shows as dma controller to requesting and gaining bus mastership and after data transfer how it releases the control over the bus so here this is a br line so bus request line that is dma controller 1 not requested but dma controller 2 is requesting hence depending on logical or of the status br bar will be active low so this is active low state so bg so dma controller 2 is requesting that is why it is active low means dma controller 2 has activated br bar line it has gone low now this is a bus grant signal sent by processor that is not blocked by dma controller 1 hence it has reached dma controller 2 okay so dma controller 2 will block now then uh, it uh, activates uh, this uh, bus busy line hence dma controller 2 is the master now it does all the data transfer then uh, this again uh, bus busy line is made inactive and uh, indicating that uh, control of system bus is over it doesn't need for any further data transfer hence the control over the system bus is switched back to processor so after release from the dma controller to again processor will become the bus master first processor was the bus master because of grand signal dma controller 1 has not blocked it has passed bg1 as bg2 to dma controller 2 it blocks and becomes the bus master and making bus busy line that is activating this making this uh, logic low it will have used the system bus afterwards it will release that and uh, the mastership is uh, given back to processor okay so that was uh, centralized bus arbitration there uh, only one device was involved whichever wanted to become bus master it blocked bus grant signal then gain the control over system bus making bus busy line indicating other devices that it is using the system bus and not free it did all the data transfer afterwards it released the control over system bus again by making bus busy line inactive and handed over the control back to processor
okay that was the centralized bus arbitration next we shall see to distributed bus arbitration so this is the arrangement for distributed arbitration where multiple devices participate in choosing the next bus master right in this all devices who are waiting to use the bus they will participate they will have equal responsibility in choosing the next bus master right so in the figure we can see start arbitration line so we can see start arbitration line so while choosing the signal on this is made activating indicating that next uh, bus master is being chosen so here these four lines indicate these four lines indicate 01014 bits that is the device code for device a here so next 011 is coming that is uh, the the bits coming on arbitration lines right so bits coming on arbitration lines arb0 arb1 arb2 arb3 whole bar so they are active low signals so that is we can see here 0111 right so the arbitration code is 0311 and device code is 0101 that is 5 so with respect to device a that is the first device its device code is 0101 that is decimal 5 and 0311 is the signal coming on arbitration lines so what is this so when device a is there so device b also will be there device c also will be there when n number of devices are there they will have their own device codes here device a only is shown its device code is 0101 next we shall have to know what are these arbitration code that is 0311 that is coming from arb not to arb3 arbitration lines in this uh, choosing of next bus master for example device a and device b are taken who are contending for becoming next bus master device code of a is 50101 and device code of b is 6 that is 0110 right when both are logically odd we get 0311 and that will be coming on bus arbitration lines okay so the assuming that only two devices with id numbers 5 and 6 the name of devices a and b their id is 5 and 6 in binary they are 0101 that is for device a code being 5 and for device b the code is 6 it is in binary 011 Zero. The logical OR of both is zero triple one. That will be circulated on arbitration lines. So what is to be remembered here is, so after this much, each device compares the pattern on arbitration lines. Arbitration lines will be connected to all the devices. So all the devices will compare their code with arbitration lines. code so what is coming on uh, arbitration lines here 0311 so when compared in which bit there is difference between device code and arbitration code from that bit and lower bits all will be made zero then which code results and that code matches with which device code and that device will become the bus master okay that is what is the procedure so this we will elaborate bit by bit and see here device a code is 5 0101 device b code is 0110 what is the assumption here only two devices are trying to become the bus master because they have some data to transfer over the system bus hence only device a and device b are 
considering the device code in binary when logically ordered we get 0 triple 1 okay so this 0 and this 0 when ordered it is 0 only the next bit 1 and here 1 ordered that is 1 when all the bits are ordered here we get 0 triple 1 so logical ordering of both device code that is 0 triple 1 is circulated on arbitration lines next every device code that is device code a is compared with 0 triple 1 that is arbitration code where it differs so first bit uh, there is no difference then second bit there is no difference but third bit there is difference hence that bit and lower all bits are made zero this procedure is followed okay so similarly here for device code b here so first second third all bits are same only fourth bit that is difference and only fourth bit is made zero the net outcome here is zero one one zero and here it is zero one zero zero so the the code seen by device a is 4 here and the code seen by device b is 6 here hence uh, device 6 will win the contention and it will become the next bus master this is what is the procedure what was the procedure device a device b are contesting for bus mastership that uh, we are considering here then uh, device code of A is 50101. Device B code is 0110. The logical OR of this is 0, 3, 1. This is circulated on arbitration lines. Next, device A will compare its code with 0, 3, 1. And in which bit there is difference starting from that bit and all lower bits they are made 0. Hence, final code seen by device A is 0100 that is 4. Hence, device 5 is not selected. When considered device B, so 0110, its device code is compared with arbitration code 0, 3, 1. Which bit it differs? That is in LSP bit, it differs. First three bits are same. The last bit is B code is 0 and arbitration code is 1. Hence, at that bit, 0 is filled. So, net outcome is 0110 that is 6 device 6 that is whose code it is device B code it is hence device B wins the contest and it becomes the bus master. This is what is the procedure by participating all devices who are contesting for the bus mastership the next bus master is chosen. This is what is called as distributed arbitration. So another name is this is it is not a centralized one it is decentralized bus arbitration. Decentralized bus arbitration is reliable because it doesn't depend on any one device because of failure of that one device whole may go wrong that kind of uh, situation is not here. Distributed arbitration is more reliable than uh, centralized arbitration. So that completes the discussion. So what was the topic? Bus arbitration. What is bus arbitration? Process of selecting next bus master and transferring bus mastership to that device. How many approaches are there? There are two approaches. Centralized and decentralized. And this we discussed in detail. I hope you understood. Thank you.